Hello everybody, my name is Indeed Cacti Mama, and today we are cracking the knuckles, we are ready to go, we got a tier list to make, that's right ladies and gentlemen, and more importantly than the tier list, we've got literally right at the top of the tier list, you can see it's S tier because it's sponsored by Water Bottle, that's right ladies and gentlemen, remember, the Water Bottle, it's not gone anywhere, alright, it is still the sponsor of the channel, woo woo, go Water Bottle, if you haven't drank any water yet today, do it, do it now, don't forget your water. If you, had, if you did forget your water and you're not going to drink water, shame. Shame on you. We will publicly shame you. All right? We will shame you into submission. All right? So do it. Do it now. And then for everybody else, drink your water with me. That's right. That's right. We drink the water. And so with that being said, we've got a, a video for you guys today. Or a tier list, if you will. And the tier list is going to be on the best powers for allow it. Right? And we've got them. I'm just gonna. I'm not gonna put them in any particular order in each of these tiers, but I am gonna explain to you like which one is better because of whatever reason and all that good stuff, so you guys aren't confused. I'll explain it. Don't you worry. And but before we get into that, I need to make a little bit of a disclaimer. All right. These are my opinions. Okay, and they are exactly what I just called them, opinions. If you disagree, all right, that is completely fine. And if you want to let me know about the way you disagree, right, that's completely fine. You can let me know down in the comments below. Let me know. Tell me all that good stuff. However, don't start going and attacking anybody else in the comments that disagrees with you or even me if I disagree with you. You don't need to attack me. You can just let me know, all right? Because at the end of the day, this is just a video game, all right? And these opinions are just about video games. It's not that big of a deal, all right? But if you disagree with me, that's fine. But let's just, come on, can we please keep it a little bit civil in the comments, all right? We haven't had any problems like that really in the past, but just keep them civil, all right? That's it. That's all I was trying to ask. But with that being said, I do have the tier list ready to go here, and we have the tiers that I will introduce to you. That's right. The S tier, sponsored by Water Bottle. That's right, that. These powers are sponsored by Water Bottle when it comes to the powers for Alawi. Um, and then for the A tier, always, never, not bad. All right, so these these powers are always going to be good on her. Um, but they may not be like OP, OP, you know? And then the Breakfast of Average is our B tier, all right? And what that means is that they are just like, they're, they're okay. Like, you're like, yeah, you made it. You're fine. You're not going to be angry that you got this power, but you're not exactly, like, thrilled to have it either, right? And then the last power... By the way, I want to see what something happens here. Uh, let me just... Oh, wow. It's... Ooh, okay. Uh, we'll go like this. We'll go with that soon. Um, and then the C tier is the class of pain, all right? And C tier is, like, if B is average, C is below average. This is where you're, like, just, like, why do you exist? You know what I mean? Just like, why? Why? Why'd you have to do this to me? But, um, yeah. That, that is just how it goes sometimes. Uh, so, if you end up in C tier, just know that, like, okay, it's playable, but, like, probably don't. And then D tier is, like, if you're playing this, in my opinion, you kind of definitely have a better power that you can be using. And I think that those powers are pathetic. So, don't be pathetic. Don't be like those powers. Be better than those powers. All right? So, Disarmed. Disarmed. Where does this one go? Disarmed is the one that gives you minus one to all enemies, right? Uh, no matter what. So just consistently. It's always never not bad. And the reason why it's always never not bad is because it's always good to have uh, things that are not as strong on the opponent's side. And it also makes it easier for you as a player to get those attacks off that having your units die right because at the beginning it's all about ramping up those units and then once those units get strong enough you're fine but uh but yeah and now this one however this one is in its league of its own this one goes in don't be pathetic it's literally just draw an extra card every round and give it fleeting you can find something better come on now you don't need this don't be pathetic it could be class of pain but like but why just get a better power, man. Like, what, what are you doing? You know? Uh, now, this one, however, this one's always never not bad on Alawi. And I'll, and I'll tell you why. It's the Hextech Observatory one, and it's really good on Alawi because Alawi, Alawi actually... Oh, my God. Alawi? No, Alawi actually loves to use spells, okay? 
Lowly actually loves spells. And the reason why is because she has all those spells allow her to spawn, right? So whenever you're able to refill your your mana the first time you play a spell each round, it can, you can either like play the burst speed, summon a bunch of tentacles, or you can, you know, you can use your the, the tentacle smash and you know things like that. So you have plenty of different areas for where to kind of use them with. You know, so I don't know. I think it's a really strong one for Lowly. Uh, I don't know if it's sponsored by Water Bottle by any means, but it's it's up there. All right, like this, it's it's up there. It's really really good. Um, and S tier is typically where I go like high synergy stuff. You know, like high synergy. Like this is just insane with the with them. So it's not always necessarily like legendary powers because some legendary powers are always insane. But it's like yeah, but like is it synergistic with them though? And the answer is probably not. But even though it is really really good, it doesn't necessarily mean that I wouldn't pick one power over another. It just means that like. We're talking about, like, synergy powers as well sometimes. But, I, I don't know. It's open to discretion for me, alright? Again, like I said, feel free to voice your opinions down in the comments below. But with that being said, uh, I think next what we're going to do is this one. Which, if I remember correctly, is one wherever you play a spell, you get one of the enemy nexus. Which is good. It's good, but it's not, not anything crazy. Um... It, for an epic power, by the way, it feels pretty underwhelming. Uh, whereas memory game, on the other hand, feels like it's always never not bad. I, I don't think it's ever bad to have a card that you want to be playing because you already played it, generated as fleeting the next turn. This is a rare power, and I don't know if it is a rare power. It feels really, really good each round. Whereas class of pain um, is where this one belongs. It's... Just, like, there's definitely got to be something else out there. Like, you can play it, but, like, you're spending one mana for one damage. Like, whenever you could be attacking, getting more mana. Like, there's so many good cards, I feel like, in the Alawi deck that, like, why? Whereas, like, always, never, not bad, right? This this is always an always, never, not bad power. It's really, really good. It, it feels good, always. If you're getting a random keyword for every single unit you summon, it, it, it's pretty rare that it feels horrible. Now, obviously, there's a little bit of random in there but it it always feels pretty good where stabilize stabilize uh is sponsored by water bottle because if you're playing a Lowie and you get another Lowie, you're spawning so much you're getting so much tempo you're getting so much damage onto the board it's just like how is that not good right and then you have uh the sting officer which is the breakfast of average because it's good but it's not amazing, right? Like, you have a unit that you can attack with that does allow you to keep things moving forward, but it's not amazing. It's just an extra unit, in my mind, right? Whereas this one, it's kind of just S-tier by design, which sometimes makes me want to, like, put it down, because it is arguably, in my opinion, potentially the best power out of any of them. Uh, overall, like, flat overall. Like, if I was to be like, what power would you... Like, if you didn't know anything about a champion, what power would you always take no matter what? This one? Because you're getting a random... Uh, you're getting a uh, a free uh, mana gem every turn added to what you already have. So if you already have star 2, right? Which would mean that you already have plus 1 starting mana. You go from 2 mana to 4 mana on turn 2, right? And then on turn 3, you go from... You, go, you would go from 4 mana to 6 mana, and then by turn 4, you're at 8 mana, and then by turn 5, you're at 10. So turn 5, you're at 10 mana already, right? That's pretty disgusting, if you ask me. So I guess I have to put it in Sponsor by Water Bottle, but it's not because it's necessarily high synergy, but it's because, I mean, it's just OP, you know? Now, however, this next one, I actually think is a pretty strong power. Um, now... The reason why I say it's actually sponsored by Water Bottle is because it allows you to play things on curb faster. So things like um, Tentacle Smash come out faster. Uh, things like Alawi can come out faster. These things coming out faster is just disgusting. Like if Alawi is able to come out a turn or two in front of when she normally can, you might just be able to end the game in like two turns. You know what I mean? It, it just it gets insane. So this is a very good power. Basically what it is is every single 20... Uh, cards that are in your deck at the start of the game is what it balances off of and then from there it then attacks based on um, uh, or then every single round it decreases your first card played by that amount right which is really really good and speaking of another sponsored by water bottle power I know we got multiple in a row this one is just disgusting this 
This is always good because of the fact that typically you have a tentacle up, right? And that tentacle gets a plus three, plus three buff typically by this power, right? Because your, your weakest unit gets plus three, plus three every single round. It also heals units. It does all this stuff. It's OP, in my opinion. It's probably one of the stronger powers in the game, honestly. And it's a rare power. But obviously, it had, you have to be with units, right? Like, if you don't have a lot of units, then it's pretty bad. But for a lot of, for a lot of different champions involve units. This one's always never not bad, right? It's A tier. It's good, but it's not sponsored by Water Bottle. It's The stun is always good, right? It's always good. It's good, but it's not so, so good that you're like, man, I will always pick this no matter what. Like, if I had some of these other ones, I would actually probably pick them. There's an argument to be set between Stabilize and the stun one, depending on where you're at in the run. But for the rest of these, it would be like, without a question, most of the time, uh, in terms of synergy and things like that. Again, argument here, but this one I would probably take for a Lowey, and then, but again, it also depends on the run, but overall, in terms of synergy with the Lowey, this is better. Now, this might be better on, like, Galleon run, just because you're stopping very, very strong units from attacking, but that's not because it's good with the Lowey, that's just because it's good. You know, so it's always never not bad. It's never bad. This this power is never bad. It never hinders you, ever. Now, sharing is caring. Also a never not bad power. It's not actually that high synergy with the Lowey, but it's always kind of just nice to have. Um, but it's never going to have amazing synergy because the Lowey doesn't actually have crazy amounts of keywords in her deck. So it doesn't really feel like, okay, you're getting a lot of that stuff, but it's okay. It's okay. Now a card, now a power that is like class of pain is to create a card that costs one less. And in fact, you could also even put it in don't be pathetic depending on the... Uh, this one's up for interpretation between the two ones. And the reason why is because Malawi has, like, almost no created cards. So, it's kind of useless. Like, what are you even doing? In fact, you know what? I'm calling the audible. It's going in Don't Be Pathetic. You don't really have any created cards. So, unless you have other created cards that you pull later in the run, this power is terrible. You know? Uh, now, this one, honestly... I'm actually tempted to put in Don't Be Pathetic because you don't really need Predict on Lowey for the most part. But I think because it is Predict and it's still strong and it does tell you what you're going to get every single turn. It has Gun Class of Pain, but it's very close to Don't Be Pathetic. It's not that useful. You get to Predict every single turn, cool, but like I prefer something else. Uh, something else like the Frostbite every single round. Frostbite the enemy unit every single round. It's always never not bad. It's never not bad. Okay, that's it. That's all it is. Now, something that's sponsored by Water Bottle is the Nature Sapling, all right? And the reason why Nature Sapling is actually sponsored by Water Bottle is because you're constantly getting something to attack with to generate more tentacles, right? Always. How is that not good on a Lowy, right? Like, it's always going to be good. And then another one that's also sponsored by Water Bottle is growing the health to match the... Um, the attack, we get a lot of really high attack units, so it's really, really good whenever you get a lot of health to go with it, right? Because, like, survivability is very important to Lowey's decks, for especially for Lowey herself. So I think that this is probably one of the best powers you can get on a Lowey. It saves her in a lot of scenarios. Um, so, yeah, I, I think that you should consider that one. Now, Breakfast of Average. And the reason why I say Breakfast of Average here, and in fact, you could actually move this up to Always Never Not Bad. In fact, I might. Uh, I think I will, but the reason why it's not an S tier by any means is because you're most likely just going to be summoning that Grumble Slug, which is good, but it's like, it's okay. Now, however, the one thing that it does provide, and the reason why I was going to move it up to Always Never Not Bad, is it provides consistency, because you know which two drop you're summoning, right? You know which two drop you're summoning, and you can mulligan away your Grumble Slug if you have it, because you know you're going to summon one, right? So, and you get a free attune if you're getting Grumble Slug. Now, this is assuming you don't have any other two drops in your deck, but still an idea that's out there um now for this one the rating party i would honestly say it's probably in breakfast of average like it's good you do a lot of damage to nexus but probably by the time you're doing a crap ton of damage to nexus you're probably just winning the game anyways because you're a combo deck same thing with this one you're you're buffing your unit in your hand okay cool this one is good because anytime you're doing damage you are stopping the unit from being able to uh, attack and do damage to you back or whatever, but it's not as useful for you. Allowing typically, but you're killing units by the time you're attacking, so it's like 
you don't really need to mitigate damage, right? Like, you don't, it's not very useful for very long. Now, survival endurance, this one is always never not bad. And the reason why is because typically you're going to be with your second star power, which is to give a unit, the weakest unit vulnerable every single round. You're pulling a unit in that is probably weaker than your other unit, right? So anytime you kill them, you're buffing your your guy, right? Like, that's the whole idea there. So that's why I kind of say that, you know, hey, it's good, but it's not crazy, crazy. Um, then what's after that is the champion one. And honestly, I don't know, guys. It's, it's not amazing, but it's not horrible either. You know, like, I think that it's probably breakfast of average. I, it's all I can really say there. You know, it's, like, it's pretty good, but it's not amazing. Uh, also, this one's breakfast of average, and where's the other one? Oh, it's already up there. Never mind. These two are always going to be breakfast of average for allowing for me, because it's like, yeah, you're doing one to the enemy nexus, but, eh, I think there's better powers out there. And this one's whenever you play a spell deal one, which is better than this one, in my opinion. Alawi gets better with the spell one than this one because you play a lot of spells with Alawi. Um, then, the Unyielding Determination is... It, I mean, it's it's always good, right? Like, it's always never not bad, but it's not amazing. Like, it's just like, okay, cool, you'll never die, right? Like, you have an, a free of life every single round, or every single... Um, encounter but it's like okay cool not amazing now however counterfeit copies is not very good for allow in my opinion uh i don't think it's that strong i don't think you should play it uh same thing with over prepared i don't think equipments are really that good you're re-rolling into an equipment it doesn't make it that amazing um draw two don't do it it's terrible it just draw two at the start of the game not that amazing for allow you'll get plenty of draw just don't do it um, Poros is probably breakfast of average. I think at one point it'll start to clog up your board too much, but early on it's good. You get a, you get some decent units there, and it allows you to kind of have things to attack and block with. So it's not bad. It's not terrible, but in, in a way it starts to get in, in your way. However, Unstable Inventory, this card is very, very good with Lowy, And the reasoning for that is, is because uh, it's not, it's sponsored by Waterball, but it's very, very good because... It's unstable inventory. Unstable inventory can high roll you into literal maximum oblivion, or it can actually low roll. By the way, low roll into the sense where it can actually start to hurt you. Um, so it's not going to be sponsored because it's two RNG, but it's super good, especially whenever it works out. Um, and then this is just this power is one of those powers where it's like, yeah, you got it. It's not terrible, but it's not amazing either. It's um, the one where whenever you draw a card, um, it is like every single card or every single unit is buffed by one attack for every single card you draw. But like, okay, cool. It's not amazing. You know, it's not terrible, but it's not amazing either. Uh, whereas Chrono Break, uh, I think this one is super good. It's called Reset. But what it is is basically you get free rallies. I think a lot of the things that, by the way, that are very OP with... Alawi is, you need attacks for spawn, right? And her star powers always revolve around when you attack, spawn, however many, right? So it's, you want to be attacking as much as possible. You want to find ways to get free attacks and attacks and more attacks and all the good stuff. So I think you always have to be looking for attacks. And rallies go great with that. However, it's not super consistent because they're just rolled into your deck. And yes, you'll typically draw one, but again, they're just rolled into your deck so you don't really know where they're at. Whereas this one is a consistent rally every single turn, which we love. Um, rallies on Alawi are really, really good. Really, really good. And you should love them. You should like them. You should appreciate them, cherish them, and love it forever. Because this one's a really good power on Alawi. Whereas Fury on Alawi is painfully average, I'd say. Like, cool. But there's way better powers out there, in my opinion. Uh, in fact, Endurance is the better version of fury typically um there's a few different situations where endurance gets outshined but for the most part typically not now i actually am of the belief that power overwhelming is like meh on Alawi. in a lot of scenarios these will actually do a lot more for you especially at the start of the game whenever you're weakest this only starts to like buff you once you're pretty much already gonna win
right? Like, how overwhelming is kind of one of those ones for, like, allowing where, like, you're already building stat monsters that, like, it, it's once you're already starting to win that it typically helps you, so it's not that good. Armored Gearhead is, honestly, between these two, I think I'd argue it's more class of pain. It's just, there are two one ones, and then it's cool, whatever, they die, it's whatever. Now, however, a power that I honestly find to be kind of disgusting on Alawi is this one. I forget the name of it, but what it does is it allows you to get two, anytime you play a slow spell, it copies itself, right? So if you're playing Tentacle Smash, and you, you don't even have to target anything. You can literally just play it. You will spawn to twice. So you'll get a 4-4 four, four of a tentacle. Or you'll add 4-4 four, four stats. 4 plus 4 plus 4 stats onto your tentacle. Right? And then you'll be able to attack. Then you'll be able to attack. You'll be able to maybe kill some units with it. You, then on top of that, once you get the buff for the card, it also then gives your... Um, uh, it gives your unit... The, and a common item as well with it. So it's really good. However, Breakfast of Average, it's okay, but not synergistic by any means, by the way. It's because you have to have five attack whenever you summon, whereas you typically don't have a lot of five attack units whenever you summon. So it's actually not that great on Alawi. Now, it's still a good power, but you kind of have to like find other stuff al along your run to really kind of like help you out there with that one. Same thing with um, Vanguard Lookout for a different reasoning. It's good, but it's not amazing. Um, it's just something to attack with, but it's not consistent enough. It's just like right at the start, get some blockers. However, it is better than this guy. It's always better than this guy because better stats and things like that for you to play with. Um, and then the, the actual evolution, by the way, which is just plus one, plus one for every keyword... Not that great because you don't have a lot of keywords, right? It's the same thing as there's one in here about, like, sharing is caring. Now, the reason why I think sharing is caring is a little bit better is because then you're sharing your keywords with the rest of your units. So, like, the few keywords you do have are actually spreading out amongst your units. Like, one unit is going to get a plus one, plus one buff. It's not that amazing. Uh, I think there's better ones. I think Endless Wealth is in the same category, too. It's not amazing. Endless Wealth is like, it's okay, right? It's playable, but you need it at the start of the game because you're only, you're getting 200 uh, gold after every single encounter, and you're still, like, up the chance of whether or not it's actually good, right? Like, it's like, what if you don't have anything to buy? Then does it really give you anything? Like, you know what I mean? So it's like, you gotta think about stuff like that whenever you're playing with Endless Wealth. Now, Yips Von Genius, this one is just disgusting, all right? And the reason why Yips Von Genius is actually disgusting is because Yips Von Genius is such a strong power with the tentacles, because tentacles are, they cost one, right? And so whenever the tentacle even comes into play, it immediately becomes a 3-3, three, three, right? And so instead of a 1-1. One, one. So then you're just buffling your tentacle out of complete control, and it can just win you games. It's sponsored by Water Bottle. Speaking of Water Bottle, I'm thirsty. Drink break. Okay, drink break over. Stop drinking right now. Stop it. All right, there you go. And then this is Allies to have plus one, plus zero. It's good, but it's not amazing. It's the same thing as Disarmed. It's never going to be bad, but it's not going to bring you as close to a win as these will. Um, so it's pretty good. And then Duplicate is kind of one of those... I feel like Duplicate is actually such a OP power on, like, almost every single, like, champion, right? Like, I don't think that there's a single champion where, like, Duplicate would become a hindrance. It's honestly... Honestly, Duplicate might actually be the strongest... Um, Duplicate might actually be the strongest out of any... Uh, power, genuinely. Now, the only, like, the only time I can think about, like, where Duplicate wouldn't be good is, like, if you think about it for, like, things like Diana, right? Like, Diana with Nightfall, it only, Duplicate only copies the first card you play each round, not every card. So, you can see how, like, that would become a problem, right? For, like, something like Diana, where Diana relies on Nightfall, right? Um, and so, it's like, okay, cool, but because I need to proc something 
and I'm copying something that I don't want to copy. I'd rather copy the second card I play each round, right, or the third, or every other card after my first card. So that sword duplicate is kind of anti-synergy. It's still good, but it's just anti-synergy. But for the most part, you don't have that problem. This is also sponsored by Waterball. We have so many in the S tier, by the way, this time around. I think Alawi does well with a lot of different powers, but this is really good for Alawi because you're refilling spell mana, and like I said before, Alawi is really, really good with um, with generating, like, using spells and things like that, right? So if you're allowing yourself to play these spells for basically almost completely free, and then after that, exhaust the rest of your mana on units and the rest of your mana in general just so that you can play your full amount the next turn as well. It's just really good. Super duper good, in fact. Um, whereas this next one is Breakfast of Average. And the reason why it's Breakfast of Average is it's like, it's good, but... I prefer all these. What the power does is every single time you draw a card, it, it it's costs one less the turn you draw it, right? So, like, if I draw a Lowy, that turn, a Lowy would cost three mana instead of four. However, the reason why I don't like it is as much as some of the other powers is because it's so inconsistent, right? Like, what if you don't even need that card that turn? Well, shoot, you just lost out on the buff, right? And that, that is your power. However... I think this power is kind of pathetic, to be honest. It's very rare that this card is actually amazing in a lot of different areas. It's really bad for the most part. Like, you're, yeah, you get a forage your unit, give it plus one, plus one, but Orn, you really got the short end of the stick here. I mean, you, it just, it's not that good of a power. I don't think time and dedication is that good. However, this one is always good. In fact, it's almost considered uh, sponsored by Water Bottle, but it is a common power, so I don't know if I should really put it up there or not. But all allies have Overwhelm. Amazing for Alawi, uh, especially if you don't have the Troll King's uh, crown power, right? Like, if you have that power, it's not as amazing, So I, which is why I typically play it, which is why I'm not putting it up there. Whereas, like, if you don't have that power, you're probably way more inclined to be like, what are you talking about, Cacti? It should be right here. It should be right here. But since I always use that power, it's, like, not as impactful to me. But I do think that all allies having Overwhelm is very, very strong in Lally. That's why I always use it. Now, getting the Sparring Student is actually pretty good. Um, it's just not uh, amazing. But it's pretty good, like, for the first couple turns. You know, you've got a unit. It's pretty nice. Now, this one is just good. You get an extra Mana Gem to start the game. Good, but not OP. But it's really good. Like, you, you start out your curve better, you know, things like that. It's good on the Lowy. Um, then, you know, after that, we've got, you know, you get more health. Cool. But eh, you've got better options. Getting max health is whatever, in my opinion. Um, I think that you should stop being pathetic and losing your run so that you don't have to get this power. All right? I'm kidding, by the way. If you ever lose the run in one or two you know, matches or whatever. I've done it so many times, it's impossible to count, all right? So I don't judge you at all. So please don't think I do. It's just a joke. All right, Breakfast of Average, Lurk, whatever. There's better powers, but it does synergize well with Tentacles, and you do have a few different cards that cost three or less. Um, however, out of the way, the, the one that buffs everything, right? Permanent buffs except Barrier for everything. Literally OP, because for allowing herself to attack and then keep the buff that she just got from the tentacles is insane, because she'll constantly grow that attack more and more and more. Do I really need to go into more detail about why that's OP? Now, this one, stop it. Stop up it. I'm pretty sure I... Yeah, like, what cards are you typically using that target yourself? That would then you would then want to then target your your weakest ally with too. It's not that good. Don't use it. Stop it. It's bad on Alawi. However, this one is way worse on Alawi, all right? This one is way worse, and the reason why it's way worse, worse is because you don't really... Like, it's just discount... It, it, all it does, it's, it just costs a, it discounts the card... Oh, my God. It discounts the cost of one card, the most expensive card, by one at the end of every round. Most of your cards for Alawi are very, very cheap. You don't need this. It's not that great. Don't use it. However... A breakfast of average is that one. By the fifth turn, you have a 8-8 with Overwhelm. Very, very strong, but you got to wait five turns for it. More synergistic with landmark decks. We don't have a landmark deck, so it's okay. It's still an 8-8, like turn five, for free. Not that bad. 
Uh, getting challenge every turn is kind of useless in my opinion. It's like it's okay, but cool. But like you get vulnerable from your star two, and even if you don't have star two, there's other powers out there. This one is just I don't typically like talking about these powers because you have to like like this one's good, but it's only for the first three parts of the the run, and you only get it if you didn't perform well before. So it's like it's not a power that you typically opt into unless you're forced to. Whew. Sorry, Johnny. Uh, so that's why I don't think it's that amazing. Rushed him down is... Uh, it's one of these two. It's not amazing, but it's also not horrible. Like, it's kind of average, so I guess I'll put it here. It's like, it's one of those powers where you're like, cool, I summon, but like, once I summon, I'm it's useless afterwards, and you don't summon that much on a line where I think it's like OP by any means, right? And a lot of your units, whenever they do get summoned, they stay. So it's like, okay, cool, but it's not completely useful for me. I don't even like this one at all because, like, yeah, you want to focus on attacks, but, like, I prefer, like, a unit to attack with, right? So I think it's more like Class of Pain. Like, I prefer to have... I even prefer to have this one because at least I have a unit to attack with and defend with. This is just sitting there, right? Like, okay, cool, but, like, I would rather something else um, I don't care about NAB that much, to be honest, for the most part. I don't think it's that OP. You're very reliant on how strong or weak a lot of the cards in your opponent's deck is. So, obviously, this gets stronger the, the stronger enemies you go against. But, like, you know, there's better powers out there. Spells cost you one less. Insanely good on Allow You. Like I said, very spell dependent. For, so, getting cards out sooner, very, very good. Highly recommend. Highly, highly, highly recommend terrible don't use it it you granting your weakest ally plus one plus one or or like you granting whatever ally plus one plus one at round end almost completely useless in most things you don't really need it um this just this already it's just basically your star two power but worse don't use it unless you really need vulnerable on units but you don't you don't really need vulnerable on units just use your star power for that one um this one is average because it, you're attacking with like your health gains to make your attack better, but it's not that great. Most of the time, you prefer it to be the other way around. You prefer it to be this one right here. So it's not that amazing. I wouldn't use it for the most part, but you can use it every once in a while. And then I think that the this one is actually a pretty good power over well, overall. So yeah, I'd recommend you use that if you're ever looking at things to use. Uh, but it's not crazy, crazy by any means. And with that being said, I, you know, this is the tier list, guys. So if you guys are wondering what I think are completely, completely broken, uh, and I would say anything in these top two tiers here is just like, if you see this power, you can use it, right? Like, go for it. Have fun. Go for it. Then these two tiers are like, play it, but like... It's not going to feel as great as some of these other ones, unless you've got other different synergies that you've already built into your deck at that point. And then, don't be pathetic. It's just like ones that I would just say steer away from, right? These are the powers that you don't want to use. Uh, now, obviously, I think that these powers, for the most part, are a little bit better than these powers, but it's up to you, right? It's, at the end of the day, it is your decision. These are more just like my preferences that I typically go for on things like Alawi. And what do I know? I only have her to star three, level 30, right? I only have it at that point, but those are just that's just my opinion. Again, let me know what you guys thought down in the comments below. I'm very curious to know what you guys think about Alawi. Alawi is one of the two champions I've probably played the most of. Um, and I really enjoy her, actually. She just kind of feels broken to me all the time. Uh, but she does still have some weaknesses, so that is where it does feel kind of good. Because there, it's not just complete, you know, just, okay, you just win for showing up like Jinx feels sometimes. So with that being said, hopefully you guys enjoyed the video. I enjoyed making the tier list for you guys today, and hopefully you guys appreciate it. I, Whenever I hit more level 30s on different champions, I will make more and more tier lists. At some point, I think I'm going to end up making power tier list and champion tier list. But the as of whenever I'm recording this, the, uh, the new patch for the new champions will be coming very, very soon. So like, if there's going to be new path champions, champions, I'm not going to make... A tier list for champions that's going to immediately get outdated all right so i'm not going to do that so i'll probably wait on that one uh powers wise probably the same thing so but for powers for different champions not like the champion star powers i'll probably make more of 
depending on if I can get my champions to level 30 and star 3. So, with that being said, hopefully you guys enjoyed the video that I made. And let me know, like I said down below in the comments, for all the good stuff. Like, subscribe, all of that. You know what to do. But with that being said, I hope you guys enjoyed the video, and I'll see you guys next time. Peace.